this is the data calculated from the impedance spectroscopy the data is frequency imp impedance z and phase angle theta by using this z and theta values we can calculate all remaining other parameters z dash z double dash m dash m double dash ac conductivity these are all we can by using phase angle and impedance values we can calculate real part of impedance imaginary part of impedance real part of admittance imaginary part of admittance ac conductivity real part of modulus imaginary part of modulus as well as real and imaginary parts of dielectric constant by using this symbol we can add it to columns here in these columns we will write the real part of impedance and uh, imaginary part of impedance z double dash now select the column right click on here S set column values click on set column values then dialog box will be open we have to write formula here that formula is z dash equal z cos theta for that i am z value uh, column a and uh, theta so theta is i am selecting here by using f of x function angle into 3.14 by 180 will write here so here there is a, some error will be there that's why formula not executing that is we have to put into symbol here In, that is the star we will use here now click on apply we will get the values ok now coming to the copy this formula instead of paste here instead of cos i am writing here sign ok we have to keep here auto so if you change any values automatically changes will be occurring z dash and z double dash that's why we have to keep always auto and then click ok so now it is z dash and z double dash now we are taking admittance values real part of admittance and imaginary part of admittance Yeah, here how many open parentheses are there so compulsory closed parentheses also like the tone okay open parentheses and closed parentheses then only formula will be applicable this is a y dash y dash value now coming to the copy it so go to y double dash here y double dash value is we have to keep z double dash this one ok column z double dash ok column e is the z double dash ok now click on apply so these are the y dash and y double dash values now we will calculate sigma ac column y dash into t by a here thickness we have to calculate the what is what is the sample thickness we have to write sample thickness as well as area thickness by t for my sample 0 0.209 centimeter thickness by area 1.328 1.328 centimeter square here both thickness and area 
should be in centimeters same units okay then conductivity form line conductivity units is cement per centimeter generally will represent the conductivity form line cement per centimeter in maximum research papers we can represent also cement per meter also okay at that case thickness we have to take in meters and here area we have to take in meter square okay generally we will represent here centimeters that's why i am taking here thickness is 0 0.209 centimeter and area is 1.328 centimeter square okay now click on apply okay so this is the conductivity m dash m double dash modulus values 2 pi of epsilon naught into z double dash then you will give the it will give some modulus value into area by thickness yeah here one more extra bracket is there that's why formula is not applicable see here this is the m dash for m double m dash we have to write here uh, column e so column e z double dash for m same formula we copy here control c m double dash and control v okay just what we have to change for m double dash means instead of z double dash we have to take z dash value okay that's why i'm selecting column z dash apply okay so this is the m dash and m double dash values to calculate the real and imaginary parts of dielectric constant we'll use these formulas for calculating real part we have to take here m double dash by m dash square plus m double dash square similarly for calculating imaginary part here we will take instead of m double dash we will take m dash m dash by m dash square plus m double dash square so this is the dielectric constant data okay these are the calculation for impedance analysis